Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are hopefully going to be finishing this contract of Out With The Old. Uh, all we have to do is deliver this oil rig all the way to here, to the drilling site where we've dropped off the last three uh, items. So, <clears throat> I think it was three. Well, technically, technically it was three. I think it was two pieces of metal. Um, the oil or the oil There was something I don't know why I can't remember it, but anyways, let's get on our way <clears throat> So I've actually put a pull out uh, Because There is a new Upgrade out or uh, there's a, a small little uh, Add-on for tires I believe it's called the Jack of All Tires. Uh, but I was wondering if anyone wanted me to actually go ahead and purchase that and start using those tires or if I should keep it fairly vanilla. So let me know in the comments what you guys want. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So if, if nobody votes for it, because it's not looking too great. Not a... <laughs> Nobody's actually replied to it. I think it's been up for two days now. Uh, I'll probably just buy it and use it. See if I like any of the tires. See if they actually uh, help out any or if they are, um, you know, see what it's all about. So, uh, hopefully, I'm assuming that they must be better tires than what we have in the vanilla games because. Why else would they make you pay $2.99 for it? <laughs> you know, if I got a bunch of tires that were exactly the same, I wouldn't pay for them. So, they better be better. And if they're not, then, uh, I guess I'm just stuck with them, so. But anyways. Alright, so we gotta get this oil drill all the way past the farm. <clears throat> and we are doing that in... A well, more or less a, a four by six truck. Uh, I believe that's the technical term for it because it's not. There is no all-wheel drive for this truck. The front diff will never uh, lock. So, but what we can do, what we're going to do is we're going to see how well this truck handles things like this mud. This has always been a slow point. Uh, it's usually quite demanding on trucks, so... There's also a very soft spot back there where... If you're not careful, you can actually roll over, so... I think I'm gonna throw it in high. Nope. Nope, there's too, uh, too much undulation with the, uh, terrain to keep it in high. It was doing well in high. Nope. Alright, well, we'll keep it in, in auto. But I have, I have also purchased, uh, the G20, what is it, the 923 wheel with the shifter. Uh, I may or may not be <laughs> may or may not be using the shifter because it's uh, I, I probably should have looked into it more before I bought the wheel uh, but I've kind of always wanted the wheel anyways so but uh, there's really no way to have the shifter shift through first second third and fourth like you like you would in a uh, normal truck or, uh, or car. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of digging. And I believe most people what they do. And I'm not really sure how it works on vehicles that don't have the off-road transmission or the snow runner transmission. Uh, but you will you will have like first gear being low minus second gear being low third gear being low plus fourth gear 
fourth gear probably being auto, and then fifth gear being um, your high gear. Speaking of high gear, let's see if it helps here. And then uh, your six or reverse being uh, your reverse gear. No? We just don't have the muscle in this truck to... Which is surprising because this thing's got like a massive... Massive engine in it. I can't even tell. One... It looks like a 10 cylinder. Uh, but anyway, so you would have reverse as your reverse gear. Um, some people have mapped the reverse gear as sixth. Um, but I believe this stick has... You press down and go into sixth gear, and that is your reverse gear, so it's... It's kind of a, a fake reverse gear. Uh, it would have been nice if reverse was up and to the left, um, next to first. But, uh, I didn't design it, so I don't get to really make that decision. But at, at, if you look at the pattern... Oops. Maybe I gotta go a little bit wider here. But if you look at the pattern of the shifter... Uh, it makes it, it makes you think that it kind of dog legs to the right. One more, but I've been playing with it and it definitely is just, you push down and then drop it in six and that's your, that's your reverse gear, so. But anyways, with SnowRunner you don't have kind of another gear. You, you really wouldn't have a need for neutral. Um... It would be nice if you can map neutral in the neutral position on, like you would on, on a stick. Like, your car is always in neutral if it's in the middle, right? Um, but unfortunately, are we going to fit through here? I did not think this through, did I? <laughs> I've been rambling on too much about, um... About my new purchase. Um, all right, we're gonna have to go around the long way and hopefully We'll be able to uh, Back this out Come on Nice and slow slow and steady That's how you win the race, right? All right, so we're Obviously backing directly into a tree. Why not? You know. There's only really one there that I could back into, and of course... That's the one I was aiming for, so... Go figure. I wasn't... <laughs> I'm still not aiming for it. You know what? Uh, we can't even go forward. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. This is ridiculous. Nope. Turn the wheel all the way to the... Passenger. And then back up. And I still hit it. Alright. Alright, if I hit it this time then... I quit. I'm done. There we go. Now we're past it. So now we can back truck and trailer past the pole and this is going to be the tricky part because I believe yeah we got to go up so we got to go back here and then to the left and this is a nasty little hill and yes before you guys ask I did have my my wheel turned all the way I'm actually not using the wheel right now because I haven't quite, I haven't quite figured out how to use it. Um, it, it seems like it would be pretty simple, especially with the, uh, predefined settings that aren't mapped. It's kind of annoying. Um, like, the steering works in it, um, and I, th I think camera control you have to do with your mouse. Um, which isn't the worst thing, but it doesn't really relate to using the stick and, and being able to shift through your gears, although you're kind of just, you're in the gears anyway, so 
I may just map them to... I may just map them to using the, um... The paddle shifters and then the... Uh... Up, left, right, that... Those directional cardinal... Cardinal directionals, that's what they are. Uh... And it's... It's... The, <laughs> the worst thing about it is... Not knowing where the buttons are. <laughs> like they're kind of all over the place. Um, they're kind of set up like the controls. We're stuck. So let's go into low gear. There we go. Now we're moving. We're back to auto. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, I just, I gotta get used to the wheel, so I don't want to really use it for, uh, recording purposes quite yet, so, um, I may, I may end up losing the wheel, or losing the, um, the stick shift. Not quite. I think we're actually stalling to the, the grade that we're going up. But yeah, so I just want to get a little bit better with it um, before I start recording with it because, you know, I, I enjoy moving the camera around while I drive. It really helps with uh, figuring out where the truck is on the trail. So, and yeah, and I, I got to find out if I can map the, map the shift gear sticks right gear shifting right um it would be nice if if that would go into neutral i mean maybe i mean it goes against me putting neutral in first gear because that's just it's first gear like that's where you start off it doesn't it doesn't make sense to have first gear as neutral So maybe I'll have it as the sixth gear, because um, reverse will be pretty easy. That you push down and go in reverse. Reverse. So uh, if, if reverse is reverse and neutral is sixth gear and high gear is fifth gear and fourth gear is auto, and then first, second, and third are your low minus low and low plus, then I can see that working pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's one of those things. I just, I, I just gotta get used to it. Um, I finally brought down my PlayStation 5 controller, which is what I'm using. <laughs> so that's, that's always good. I don't have to worry about the, um, the bad connector on my PS4 controller. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I have my PS3 controllers, but I don't have a cable. To plug into my computer. <laughs> All things I can't find that weird kind of trapezoidal, not even trapezoid, I guess it was a rhombus um, shaped connector, but I don't, I don't, I, I honestly can't remember what that actual USB, I'm sure it's like USB E or something like that. They all have different names now, so. But, anyways, moving on. Uh, the truck seems to be handling pretty well. It's handling pretty well, so uh, our, our main big issues are that the uh, it wants to stall going up a hill, so you just throw it in low, which, you know, makes sense. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go this way either, but I am. I'm going to go ahead and cut through and then drive around. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so the truck's doing pretty well. It's nice to see that it uh, really doesn't need that all-wheel drive. I'm sure it will eventually. Um, I think you can get it. I'm going to have to look this up because I thought you could get this truck with all-wheel drive. But I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if I am wrong. So, um, And look at that. We have a couple of trucks in my way, so I think what we'll do let's go ahead and stop the engine there. Let's get in the uh 
Actually, it looks like we need to get in the Western White Star first. Let's get this out of the way. That's the other thing too, is that I know steering, using the wheel will be nice. Um, but I'm just so used to the controller. Like I know where all the buttons are. I know what does what, you know, I know what my, my directional sticks you do. So although my brain won't function to actually hit the button to turn off the engine. So I'm not wasting gas, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's one of those things where I'm like, it's, I know the controller, so, um, what? I didn't want to switch to that one. There we go. Let's start this up. We're gonna, I guess, squeeze this right here. We are going to stop the engine, change trucks, get back into the Pacific P-16. Sounds like it should be called be a McLaren with that numbering um, nomenclature. Uh, but anyways, we are finally dropping off this oil rig. We are done with Out with the Old, and we should get a pretty nice chunk of change for this. And we did, $11,000 and then 1180 experience points. And that mission is complete. So, uh, let's see what else we have here. Um, those are all the contests, so that's fine. These are all done, so Diesel, Dyson Diesel, blah. That's a tongue twister. Uh, that is completely done. Husky, we still have quite a bit from Husky and Steel River is mostly lumber. So, and, um, and timber. So I guess technically it is timber. Um, so let's see what this is required. Two oversized cargoes. And they have to go to Drummond Island. So let's look and see. Uh, they have to go be carried all the way over to the abandoned ship. Two oversized cargoes. I want to say that's a... Those are four each. So that we could do. Um, and let's just look at the other ones real quick. So cement, yeah, cement is a whole <laughs> list of cement to drop off to every map that we're in. So that would be, that would be interesting. Oh, don't tell me. Okay, that's where you have to pick it up. Ugh, not the quarry. Why is it always the quarry? Um, can I pick it up somewhere else? I feel like you can pick up concrete from other places. Let me go to, uh, the global map. We'll go into Black River. Uh, I'm gonna make some weird noises, cause... Yep. Looks like the quarry is the only place you can pick up concrete. So... That means we need what? Two, four, six, eight quart. Uh, I was thinking of using. Well, honestly, I was thinking about using uh, this bed. Uh, although this one only holds. That one only holds five, so that would kind of be pointless. I feel like this should be six. This should have always been six. Um, you can't put a load on top of that upper deck for some reason. Seems kind of kind of ridiculous. So um, actually, let's turn this truck off because I just realized we're wasting we're wasting gas in there. So yeah. Um, well. 
I guess if we do that, we're going to have to do this truck. Um, and then what was the last one? Just for, for giggles, let's look and see. What's the super order? Whoa. <laughs> that is a big order. One, two, four. So there's four there. So those are all... That's all basic. Um, that's one basic trailer, I guess. Basically the trailer that we have on the MK38. So that's fine there. That's fine there. That's also fine there. And then that would also be only three. So they're small. Um, none of them are concrete, so that's good, which means we don't have to go into the quarry. I'm happy about that. Uh, but yeah, we have to... We get consumables from the farm, so we need... I might have to write this down. Because, <laughs> I mean, it seems kind of silly just to grab this one consumable and then go back for that consumable. So, like, there's one fuel. So we've got two consumables, two fuels. Service parts are here. I think that's the only service part one. Yes, it is. All right. Well, this will be another day because this is a lot of planning to do. Um, but should all be done. I think we get to visit all the maps. Island Lake, Black River, Drummond Island, and obviously we're in Smithville Dam. So that's also a uh, multi-map or every map in Michigan. Great, great. These are actually great for um, kind of the last missions that we do in, in Michigan. Um, I don't think. Yeah, let's go. Let's double check. Because I think. Yeah, everything that's left is just. Um. It's just these missions here. And then once we're done, it's the lumber, which I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do lumber before I move on. I mean, if you if you look at what's involved. Well, this, uh, of course, this was a bad one. Uh, this is only two long logs, which is two truck trips. Um, it's not the end of the world. This is, again, three. Although that's a double, so that's four. I think it's four. No, because you should be able to get a truck that holds a medium log, and then it can have the trailer of the medium log. So, anyways, and then timber at arm arm's reach. This is uh, this is another big one. So, but the good news is, I mean, most of it's at Smithville Dam, so it's not not the end of the world. It's not too far away that you're traveling. So. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this. Let me know if you want me to do the lumber or the timber, I should say, because lumber is cut. Uh, timber is the actual tree trunk um, or log. Let me know. Anyways, let me know if you want me to do all the Steel River uh, missions before I move to Alaska. Um... Because I, I, I think it's almost going to be Christmas by the time I get these done. <laughs> so that kind of tells you where... Um, well, honestly, this kind of tells you where it's going to go. So, uh, But anyways, let me know. Leave it in the comments. I may also do a poll. Um, because that's what YouTube says you should do. Is do polls to interact with your community. But I do a poll and my community doesn't interact back, so hopefully that will change. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how the polls work, how they end up getting put into your feed. I'm assuming they just go into the feed of the people who are subscribed. But like I said, I'm not really sure how all that works. But um, anyways, so yeah, let's get back to our MK38. And let's see, we need to go all the way to the warehouse, so uh, we're going to start trucking out there. Yeah, we're pretty much filled up all the way, so Oops, let me go ahead and skip to morning. 
as it is a new day and a new mission. And yeah, let's get uh, let's get this show on the road. This is a, a fairly muddy path through here, so <laughs> I kind of want to make sure I uh, avoid going through the deep mud as much as possible. In fact, I think that's our exit. Um, actually, technically our exit was up there, but um, yeah. All right, let's back it up. Guess I should have looked at this before I was all gung ho to take off and go driving. Let's see, nope, we are just going to end up jackknifing. But good enough. We had enough room to to turn around, so. Alright, we're definitely gonna want to take a right up here. We're gonna cut through I think that weird swampy area. Yeah, because we're kind of in the middle of no man's land as far as, like, an easy way to get out of here. You're either going around the long way or you're cutting up and through. Or you can try to take this trail here. And you know what? I guess that's what we'll do. We'll take the trail. Because um, I know going up is a... It's a bit messy. So let's try to see if we can go... I call it more of a scout trail. Because it gets pretty skinny towards the water, so... Um, but on the map it says that it's a... Uh, it's a regular old-fashioned trail, so... Um, a road, some would call that. And... Well, this is no road. <laughs> This is a snow runner road, if anything. But yeah, it's not it's not too bad. I mean, maybe for the uh, P16 it would be really too skinny. Uh, but it's doable. It's definitely doable in this truck. Actually, this truck makes it almost easy. There I go, driving too fast. That's what I get for breaking the speed limit. Alright, so two oversized cargoes. I'm pretty sure those are four each. So we are definitely going to have to uh, make two trips, obviously. Or do I... do I want to try to get fancy with it? I feel like every time I try to get fancy, I just... I end up hating myself and my decisions. <laughs> um, but I could. Especially with this truck. This truck's pretty... capable. Yeah, see like, look how narrow this is through here. But um, I could get tricky and put the other one on a trailer and pull it. Let's see. I kind of just want to go straight. <laughs> but I got a feeling there's really not a great path through there, especially with a trailer. Might be able to do it if it was just the truck or a scout vehicle. Scout vehicle, I'd probably be absolutely fine cutting through and going straight. Ooh. I have a dilemma. I think I'm going to turn back and adjust. Just don't think this had the turning circle in it to be able to do it. Whoa. And there we go again. Off the trail. Trying to go through here way too fast, I guess. That's not too surprising. Go. 
There we go. Now I'm getting it. <laughs> All right. So we are possibly only going to be able to pick up this cargo and make it. Maybe we'll make it to the um, to the drop off location. Let's just go ahead and take those signs out and miss the, the telephone pole. And yes, it's it's probably smart to make sure. Yep. Oops. Don't know why I left a, a waypoint there, but whatever. Close enough. Alright, so we are we are actually really close to being done in Michigan, even if I do end up doing the lumber. I don't think I can use this truck to pull all of the uh, the lumber supplies. I think I can... I, I definitely can't do the long logs. I gotta find a good trucking truck to do the um, to do the lumber, which is why I haven't done the lumber yet. I haven't really found one that's that's capable. Um, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I thought I was trying to. We'll just cut through here. I thought I was trying to um, pick up my cargo container. I'm I'm 99% sure this is the four slot cargo container. Did I not go to the right place? I didn't because I bet you that's the drop off point. Yep. Where do I get to pick this up at? Uh, I know. Alright. Yep. I, I was, I had did it backwards in my mind. I thought I was picking up here and dropping off at the ship, but what makes more sense is that I'm picking up at the ship because it's crashed and I am making the delivery. Yeah, so um, chances are that may mean that I need a full size crane to pick these up so um well why don't we why don't we just find that out when we get there we'll get the truck there and then if I have to bring a crane then I will bring a crane um we are about half through halfway through our allotted time so uh we may not be doing that this episode and I'm also hoping that I have enough gas to make it up this hill. I mean, it seems like by going to high gear. Oh, look at that. Never mind. Uh, let's refuel. All right, there we go. Now I have no uh, no worries about uh, fuel anymore because well, we just filled up so. <laughs> Let's see if 24 gallons would make us there. <clears throat> so yeah, we would end up with what? I think 29 if I did my math right. Or is it 31? Yeah, if we get below 31, uh, we will... No, it isn't 31. It's 29. If we get below 29, we will uh, count that as running out of gas and then we would have known um, I could climb up these cliffs as a shortcut, but I think for now we are just going to stop the commentary and sit back and relax and enjoy the sounds of the game.
Alright, so here we are in uh, Drummond Island. Let's go ahead and refuel. Uh, we had 28 gallons, so we probably would have made it to the um, to the trailer store and grabbed a uh, thing of fuel. But it would have been close. We would have been sucking fumes. Alright, so I believe I'll uh, start making my way over there. So I think I gotta go past this bridge. Should probably check the uh, the map, but I think I know how to get there. I think we gotta keep going this way until we get to. I think it's the repair um, trailer, and there are beams that have been sitting there for I don't know, maybe twenty episodes. <laughs> Uh, feels like 20 episodes ago that those dropped off. But yeah, so here's more fuel. Just in case if I didn't have enough. So we're going to bypass this fuel. Um, pretty sure we got to go down this way. Oops. Oh, there's the repair trailer that I was talking about. Um, yes, yeah, so we have to... Yeah, like, it's... This is gonna be a tight fit, but... Hopefully we can do it. Nope, oh, there's the glitching still. Nice to know all the updates didn't, uh, didn't change that glitch. That's, that's always... Well, it's not surprising. I can't remember when the last time I had an update actually fixed something. I want to say it was at least 10 or 15 years ago. They keep acting like they're, these updates are so important. But I'm like, if it doesn't fix something that's broken, then it's not that important. Um, let's see if we go into high, if we slow the tire rotation down, we get more uh, forward movement, which seems to be helping. Uh, is it here? Yes, it is there. I almost drove past it. This really doesn't even look like a trail at all. Until we start putting our own two tracks in. Alright. I think this is why the uh, map shows this as a skinnier road. Or trail um, because it's pretty pretty skinny <laughs> and it's seldom used I think this might be the second time that we've been out to this island and uh, the first time was easily because I screwed up and I could have started a mission that would have started on this island, instead I drove all the way off of it, and then like, two or three episodes later I realized that I could have just stayed where I was and started my mission. I had to deal with the radio antenna that's up there, <laughs> but, oh well, that's, that's part of the fun of it, I guess. We're just gonna slowly move through this mud. There's not really anything much I can do. All right, I think winching at this point would have helped. Definitely not now because we're moving. We've got grip. We're out of mud. All right, let's see. I'm I'm 99% sure again that we will need to worry about tipping over there when we come back, but more importantly, 
we are definitely going to need a uh, full size crane for this. And I got to figure out what truck is the best fit for this. Um, you know what? I lied. Yay! I'm so glad when I'm wrong. Um, now, the poopy thing about this is, is we have no room to turn around. I think I can do it here. I don't want to get too far away. I gotta be able to get back up this hill. any winch, winch points up here, so... This isn't, isn't the cleanest turnaround I've ever had, but you know what? It worked. I probably could do one better here. Where I have like a 20 point turn. But anyways, there we go. We have our one load of lumber. And now we gotta take this all the way back to the Smithville Dam Reserve. It's actually the warehouse. Is it the warehouse? Yes, it is the warehouse. There's a garage, the warehouse. I guess there's two warehouses in um, Smithville Dam. Because you have the one that's right by the garage, and then you've got the one that we're taking this to. Did I strap this down? Yes, I did. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure. Alright, let's get the truck through there. The trailer and cargo should stay on. That's the nice thing about having the sideboards, is that it can actually... While you're... you're Cargo can come unstrapped unless you are at like an extreme angle. Uh, your cargo will stay in the bed um, unless, like I said, you you are at a, a bad enough angle where it actually just tips over the side of it. Um, that's always a plus over the uh, other trailer that has no sideboards. Um, we'll say that's a top tip, I guess tip of the day. Alright, so we are... We are running out of time now. Um, so we may end up getting this back to, say, Smithville Dam? And then we can uh, resume in the next episode. Hopefully that will... Uh, That should, that should give us a decent episode for next time. Kind of hard to believe it took over a half an hour just to get the truck over to where we were going. But we did, we did have to come all the way from the drill site, so that did take quite a, quite a bit of time. Oh. Stalled it bad trucker and uh, yeah so I think I think possibly we might have enough time to start the next mission let's just throw it in low plus because this is a pretty steep hill Man, I don't know who would be crazy enough to do this this uh, drive in a real truck in real life. <clears throat> Actually, I probably would. I'd do it. Uh, let's see if we can cut through here. Not gonna save a whole lot of time, but 
It may save a little bit of time. Until we get uh, hung up on something. Alright. So now we're back on a normal trail. <laughs> Full of mud and potholes and, and well, puddles of water. And I, by that I mean flooded puddles of water. Big puddles of water. Alright, so... Oh. Oh. We really dug in there for some reason. Must be nice and muddy. Alright, let's see if... There we go. Let's go ahead and... You know what? We're here. Oh no, we have to connect, don't we? I don't know if I like that. No, you know what? I can tell you right now. Oops. Aw. Um, I can repair. No, I can't repair. I do have to be connected to it. I thought that was the case. It's because I have my spare tire that it's saying... Um, it, it's weird. It's just, I don't like it because it's weird. Um, I can refuel without actually being connected to, to a, the trailer. But I can't repair unless I connect to the trailer and... I don't get that. Like, I don't know what their thought behind that was. Um, because it's not worth me unhooking this trailer. Because every once in a while, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you would call it a glitch. But you can be on level ground, unhook the trailer, and for some reason it would bounce. And tip over, and then you lose your cargo. So I'm not, uh, I'm not hurt that bad. <laughs> like, my shocks are, are taking a little bit of damage. I guess, I guess that's the right word. I don't have that much damage to where I need to really worry about trying to unhook this trailer to fix myself, so. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If it's kind of weird that you have to, um, hook up to the trailer to be able to repair yourself, but you don't have to hook up to the gas, or the, uh, gas tankers to, uh, refuel. Uh... And yeah. But here we are, we're almost to Smithville Dam. We're almost there. Uh, do I want to fill up? No. I don't really want to fill up on gas. I mean, I have plenty of it sitting right here. I'm only shy six gallons, so I should be okay. Plus we're going downhill, so that's even, uh, that's even quicker. <clears throat> but yeah, I think for now, we gotta go all the way over to the warehouse here, so I think for now, we will go ahead and call that an episode. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.